twelve natural disaster areas have been declared between sydney and the hunter valley to the north several lives have been lost and there have been near misses here a woman and her baby are rescued by emergency crews before being airlifted to safety after many hours of uncertainty and seasickness two and a half thousand passengers on board a cruise ship stuck in the pacific ocean since tuesday have finally arrived in sydney harbour it's a trip they'll not forget in a hurry upstairs on the main deck a lot of the glass had actually been pushed out and smashed all over the place chairs just turned like lollipops it's just crazy the wild weather has cut power to about 200,000 homes and businesses in eastern australia while the transport network was thrown into chaos roads were flooded flights delayed and trains cancelled some ferry services have resumed but it's been a wild journey for commuters. It was probably the, the scariest ride I've ever been on. It was fun, but scary. The, the, the waves were hiding the boat itself. The damage bill will run into many millions and the cleanup will be long. Forecasters say the worst of the conditions have passed, but the authorities in Australia's most populous state say that vigilance is still needed. In terms of the, the weather pattern, it's still uh, very dangerous. Uh, we're seeing uh, continuation of uh, the wind, uh, rain, uh, flash flooding uh, and really uh, whilst it is still dangerous the positive is uh, that there is some easing uh, but we still have a lot to get through in the next 48 hours. Sydney hasn't seen weather this bad for well over a decade. Parts of the New South Wales coast have been battered by monstrous seas. Beaches have been shut and to the north the world's biggest coal terminal at Newcastle has also been closed. Australia is a land well used to nature's extremes, but the ferocity of this storm has taken the authorities by surprise. Phil Mercer, BBC News, Sydney.